Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sir DL and welcome to the Alliance Blog and Math Tutorial. For today, we are going to discuss about median group data. We are going to study median group data. What are the objectives of this lesson? Number one, discuss median group data. Discuss median group data. Number two, solve for the value of median group data. Solve for the value of median group data. Always remember, try and try until you succeed. Please do not lose hope. Try and try until you succeed and please do not lose hope. What is median? Median, it is the middle score in a distribution or the middle most score of the distribution. Again, median, it is the middle score in a distribution or the middle most score of the distribution. What formula, to be, what formula is to be used in solving for the median of the group data? Median is equal to L plus the quantity of N over 2 minus less than CF over F multiplied by I, where L is the lower class boundary, less than CF is the less than cumulative frequency, F is the frequency, I is the, is the class interval, and N is the number of distribution. Let's now try to apply this formula on the given example. Give an example, just like what we had when we discussed the mean for the group data, we will now be having the same example for the median group data. Given there are nine females who are from 21 to 25 years old, eight females from 26 to 30 years old, seven females from 31 to 35 years old, six females from 36 to 40 years old, nine females from 41 to 45 years old, five females from 46 to 50 years old, and two females from 51 to 55 years old. What's the first step? Find the less than cumulative frequency by adding successively the frequencies of all the previous classes, including the class against which it is, it is written. Again, find the less than cumulative frequency by adding, the, by adding successively the frequencies of all the previous classes, including the class against which it is written. So we will be doing this one. Less than cumulative frequency. We will be copying 9. That is the first step. Copy 9. Then add 9 plus 8. That is 17. Again, copy 9. Then 9 plus 8. 17. 17 plus 7. 24. 17 plus 7. 24. 24 plus 6, that is 30. 30 plus 9, that is 39. 39 plus 5, that is 44. 44 plus 2, that is 46. Again, copy 9. Then 9 plus 8 is 17. 17 plus 7 is 24. Plus 6, that's 30. 30 plus 9, 39. 39 plus 5, 44. 44 plus 2, 46. That is the first step. Add successively the frequencies of all the previous classes, including the class against which it is written. That is how we get the value for the, the less than cumulative frequency. Next, find the L or the lower class boundary by subtracting the lower class limit by 0.5 on each class. So for each class, we have 21, 26, 31, 36, 41, 46, 51. Those are the lower classes limit. Th those are the lower class limits. 21, 26, 31, 36, 41, 46, 51. We will be subtracting those lower class limits by 0 0.5. 21 minus 0 0.5, that is 20.5. 26 minus 0.5, that is 25.5. 31 minus 0.5, that is 30.5. 36 minus 0.5, that is 35.5. 41 minus 0.5, that is 40.5. 46 minus 0.5, that is 45.5. 51 minus 50.5, that minus 0.5, that is 50.5. I hope you were able to follow the first and second step. Next one. 
we will be getting the value total value for the frequency that is 46. That means we have 46 female respondents. Moving on, this, uh, this is the table that we had a while ago. The next step, we will be substituting the value on the given formula. The first step, divide the value of n by 2. Divide the value of n by 2. We have the value for, value for n, which is 46, divided by 2. Divide the value of n by 2. 46 divided by 2, that is 23. 46, that is the value for n, divided by 2, that is 23. Next step, proceed to less than cumulative frequency. Find the nearest value on the quotient of n and 2. It must be equal or higher than the quotient. Again, we proceed to the less than cumulative frequency. Then we find the nearest value on the quotient of n and 2. It must be equal or higher than the quotient. Our quotient a while ago is 23. So we will be looking for the values on the less than cumulative frequency, the nearest, and the premises should be, it should be higher or equal to. Which among the less than cumulative frequencies is nearest, the, is nearest 23? That is 24. So we will be having 24. We will be using all the data on the row of 24. Next one. So the, the lower class boundary of 24 is 30.5. Again, the lower class boundary of 24 is 30.5. The value for F is 7. That is 7. The value for the frequency is 7. Then we have interval 5. That means 31 to 35. If you will be counting. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. That means we have five on our class interval. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Now, we will not be using 24 for the less than cumulative frequency, but rather we will be using the score below it. We will be using the score below 24 and that is 17. Again, for the lower, for the less than cumulative frequency, we will not be using 24, but rather we will be using the, the less than cumulative frequency, less than 24, and that is 17. I hope you were able to catch up with our lesson. Next step, subtract 23 and 17. 23 minus 17, that is 6. Again, subtract 23 and 17. That is 23 minus 17, that is 6. Next process, divide 6 divided by 7, then multiply by 5, then add 30.5. As simple as that. 6 divided by 7, 6 divided by 7, multiply by 5, plus 30.5. The value for the median is 34.79. The middlemost score of the distribution is 34.79 for the female respondents. That is how we get the value for the median. I hope you were able to follow our instructions. Let's now proceed on our next example. Given age bracket of the male respondents, there are four males who belong to 21 to 25 years old, 14 males from 26 to 30 years old, Six males from 31 to 35 years old. Seven males are from 36 to 40 years old. 22 males are from 41 to 45 years old. Eight males are from 46 to 50 years old. And three are from 51 to 55 years old. What's the first step? Find the, val find the less than cumulative frequency by adding successively the frequencies of all the previous classes, including the class against which it is which it, it is written. So it's like this. We will be copying 4. That's the first step. Copy 4. Then add 14. 4 plus 14, 18. 18 plus 6, 24. 24 plus 7, 31. 31 plus 22, 53. 53 plus 8, 61. 61 plus 3, 64. Again, copy 4. Then 4 plus 14 is 18 plus 6, 24. 24 plus 7, 31. 31 plus 24, 
53, 3 plus 8, 61, plus 3, 64. That is how we get the value for less than cumulative frequency. Next one, find the lower class boundary by subtracting the lower class limit by 0 0.5 on each class. Lower class limit of 21 to 25, 21, 26, 31, 36, 41, 46, 51, minus 0 0.5, 20.5, 25.5, 30.5, 35 35.5, 40.5, 45.5, 50.5. Now we are now we now have the tables that we need to use in order for us to solve for the value of the median. Moving on, we will be getting the value for the total number of distribution by simply adding the values of f: 4 plus 14 plus 6 plus 7 plus 22 plus 8 plus 3. That is 64. Okay, since we filled in the table already, let's now try to solve the value for the median of the group data so here's the table a while ago though the value for median the first step divide the value of n by 2 divide the value of n by 2 that is 64 divided by 2 64 divided by 2 that is 32 64 divided by 2 that is 32 next one proceed to less than cumulative frequency Find the nearest value on the quotient of n and 2. It must be equal or higher than the quotient. It must be equal or higher than the quotient. So the quotient of 64 and 2 is 32. And we will be proceeding to the less than cumulative frequency. And we need to look for a score nearest but higher or equal to 32. And that is 53. That is 53. Now, we will now be using all the data on the row of 53. So the lower class boundary on the row of 53 is 40.5. Then the value for the less than, for the frequency is 22. The value of the frequency is 22. Then the class interval is 5 because 40, when you count the interval, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, we have five intervals. Then we will be using the score below 53 for our less than cumulative frequency, that is 31. We will not be using 53, we will be using the score below 53. We will be using the score of the less than cumulative frequency that we had, that is 31. Next step, subtract 32 and 31. 32 minus 31, that is 1. Subtract 32 and 31, that is 32 minus 31. The answer is 5. Then the next step, divide 1 divided by 22, then multiply by 5, then plus 40.5. 1 divided by 22 times 5 plus 40.5. The answer is 40.72. That means the middlemost score of the female respondents is 40.72 because the median is 40.72. That is our lesson for today, median grouped data. I hope you were able to follow the steps. If you want to learn how to follow or how to do median or how to solve for the median of the group data, you may, you may check this video and please subscribe, follow. And always remember, mathematics will always remind us that in every problem there is a solution. Mathematics will always remind us that in every problem there's a solution thank you for watching guys god bless you please subscribe and share this video if you learned something god bless you all bye